The Monster Hunter Wilds open demo dates are finally here, along with a brand new locale and three new monsters. Since I know you guys are all here to look at the demo dates, here they are. Now if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you'll actually get three days of early access running from October 28th through the 30th, and all users of PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam will have access to this open beta starting the 31st of October and running through November 3rd. If you guys are as excited for this demo as I am, be sure to drop a thumbs up down below. With the open beta dates out of the way, the rest of today's video is going to be a deep dive into the fifth trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds, which is just a mere four months away from release date. We'll cover everything that was shown in the trailer, as well as some additional press information that was not shown in the trailer. Let's go ahead and get right into it. The trailer opens with the two parties traveling to Azuz, which is a village formed around the Everforge. This will be our base camp in the new locale that was showcased today, which is called the Oil Well Basin. Some new characters are shown, as you can see here, but they haven't been fleshed out yet on the official website or really expanded on in any way. We then get a look at some new small monsters here in this new locale. We have these little lizard dudes who are getting headbutted by some small wyverns. We then enter the caves of the Oil Well Basin, checking out various endemic life along the way. We get to see the oil pouring out of these huge drainage pipe structures, as well as exploding up from the ground, which leads us to the reveal of the first of three new monsters, Rompopolo. This little guy is a brute wyvern that clearly resembles the weapon and armor from the hammer weapon showcase, as you can see here, and it resides deep in the oil silt of this biome. This guy looks like a total menace to hunt with poison gas and exploding oil looking like it'll cause me a few carts. In the press release, it's stated that Rumpopolo expels toxic gas from its tongue, which is used to first weaken its prey before it uses its tail to inject a gas into the surrounding tar, causing it to explode like you can see in the trailer. As we fight Rompopolo, we get to see another new monster dive in to a turf war. This funky monkey is known as a Jarakon, who often fights with Rompopolo for territory in the oil well basin. A Jarakon is a new fanged beast that shows up mostly in the inclemency period of this biome, which is called the Fire Spring. He has flame-like protrusions along his back and can be found swinging around the rock formations here in the oil well basin. We get to see a badass power clash against a Jarakan here, and I think the way that his spikes light up like they're on fire once he enrages is just such an amazing attention to detail from the Capcom team. The press release gives us more information here, as a Jarakan can rub its thick shell to cover itself in a sweltering, fiery armor. The villagers then light up the Everforge, claiming that they beckoned the fire spring with their own hands. Now, of course, the Fire Spring is the inclementary period in the Oil Well Basin, and as many of you will know from my previous videos, we will be able to change the period or time of hunts that we want to go on from these base camps, so this is kind of a nice detail to add some realism to that. As the Fire Spring increases in power, we get to see two Ajarakons fighting the hunter at the same time, as well as the use of a hook slinger to use the forge to punch Rumpopolo with a pseudo Dragonator. Next, we see a sick plunging attack with a new lance onto a Jarakon, followed quickly by the overheating of the Everforge. Now, as you can see here, this is gonna be pretty bad. But this actually brings in our third and final new monster, known only so far as the Black Flame. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this octopus-style monster is giving off Nakarkos vibes to me. Now, he's definitely not Nakarkos, but I just mean in a similar build style, which I think is super dope, and we need more of this in the Monster Hunter series. We then get to see some incredible fight scenes with this monster, who wields powerful flames, and is confirmed to be the apex monster of the Oil Well Basin. He has a terrifying grab attack, which I will be doing my best to avoid at all costs. He seems to secrete the oil from this basin through specialized tubes, which he can then light a flame to bathe hunters in hellfire. And that's about it for this one, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like down below. Keep an eye out on this channel when the open beta drops, as I'll be trying to do some hunts with you guys, as crossplay is confirmed to be in the open beta. 
So I'll be hopping on early for that PlayStation Plus one, as well as running some PC for the later dates. If you're new to my channel, if you're new to Monster Hunter, or if you find yourself coming back here on the regular, be sure to subscribe. This channel is going to be the best place to find news, guides, sets, and much, much more for Monster Hunter Wilds in the coming months and upon release, so subscribing is the best way to make sure that you never miss an upload. With all that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I wish you all a good day, happy hunting, and I'll see you in the open beta.